Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess with Jess of Air, and in this video we're going to be talking about pegboard organization. And I'm going to show you guys how I do these ribbon skewers. If you guys have been organizing a pegboard before, I'm sure you've seen that solution. It just works so well that I use it in every I use it every time I have some spool of something to hang up. And then I have these wire baskets from the Dollar Tree that I also hang up. I have three of them. I'm going to organize where those go. Um, let's see. And I also have the shower storage hanger organization thing that they have at the Dollar Tree. And I'll show you guys what I did to that. And if I get to the point where I need another one, I saw that the Dollar Tree had them when I was there yesterday, so I will be able to get them. I just wanted to make a little note that a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be talking about today, you can get at the Dollar Tree. So it, this is pretty much like a Dollar Tree organizational haul or inspiration. Um, I don't have a lot of money, so I usually need to focus on buying stuff that is cheap, but also fits the bill for what I am looking to organize or do. Um, so I guess let's get started. Alright, so I have, as you can see, it's kind of just like everything is hung up. I'm going to try to make it organized. Um, here's the bins from the Dollar Tree. Cups, Dollar Tree. Uh, popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree. Gloves, Dollar Tree. This wa this uh, buffing mat is in the car section at Dollar Tree, but I use it for my stained glass. Here, this is the shower rack that I was talking about. So I guess I'm gonna get everything off and then we will start putting stuff back on. So if you wanna watch me get everything off very slowly, go watch the ASMR version of this that I'm going to put up. And if you want to watch um, the sped up version really quick, just continue watching because I'm going to put a sped up version here.
Alright guys, I just did my ASMR um, recording where I organized everything and now I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about why I put everything where I did and so let's take a full look at this. But we're going to start up here. So I put this saw I wish I knew what it was called. I know I look like a badass having that, but I just need it for stained glass to cut the zinc frame around the outside. Um, this, I made these, these are the little wires and tape and little stuff that I don't use that often. And that goes on the little skewer and it just hangs on two little hooks right there. These are my perfect circles, I like to call them, because if I'm making a stained glass piece, this is like my frame to make sure that it is round. Over here, I put my brush and then my measuring utensils all on the same um, hook. This here is my shower caddy thing that I was talking to you guys about that I got from the Dollar Tree. It doesn't look like I'm going to have any room to get a second one, so I'm going to have to just deal with this one. Luckily, I don't have that much other stuff I want to put up here, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I got my stained glass finishing, so it makes it all shiny, and then the flux to connect the wire and, I mean, the copper tape and the solder together. And I put my glass cutter up here because it's just a decent spot for it, I guess. <laughs> Hanging off of this shower caddy is our little screw eyelets. Um, these are just little things that I need sometimes when I'm working and I don't want to have to like dig through my beading boxes or stuff like that to find it. Um, recently bought products here. If you watched my Hobby Lobby video, um, you or Hobby Lobby haul video you saw me and what I'm gonna end up doing with those this paper cutter I got from Dollar Tree Dollar Tree has the best stuff I swear all right this is my wire I guess I can move down here this is my wire that I use copper wire, aluminum wire, different kinds of wires, and I guess I'll do my baskets really quick. I forgot to do baskets. Got these at the Dollar Tree, and so I don't poke my fingers when I'm doing stuff, or if I'm trying to hold a resin piece and I don't want to get resin on my fingers. These work good. Extra copper foil. Foam mounting tape. This is double-sided sticky foam tape so you could put posters up sometimes you could just like temporarily stick a couple things together maybe whatever you need to do obviously you can see it's come in handy for me a couple times Dollar Tree and then this is the Dollar Tree find but I have another knife so I don't haven't had to open this yet but exacto knife scrap tility knife sorry but I liked that when I saw this I just bought it I didn't even think about it but I like the different um, tips they're all different shapes so that goes in my basket up there that's all stuff that won't fall out um, gloves these are the vinyl ones and then I have the reusable latex ones here and oopsie And some toilet paper in case you gotta clean up. And some, uh, what are these called? Zip ties. Now down in this bin, I have these little clips sometimes. I need to clip stuff, but just clip it right there on the outside so I don't lose it. <laughs> these are, here I got this at the Dollar Tree mini glass containers and what I use those for there's things like these glitter but these right now 
you can also find at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then this was I found in the Dollar Tree at the makeup section. It's a silicone mat. You can suction so it doesn't move. I'm pretty sure this is for makeup, washing your makeup brush or cleaning it off or whatever. But I use it because resin doesn't stick to silicone and um, silicone also works well with stained glass but the the iron doesn't burn it it doesn't get too hot like if you use wood that's not good because the wood can transfer onto your tip but silicone it doesn't as long as it's the high heat kind it doesn't burn it so it works uh, and in here I just have the all these little nail gems and stuff and that's what I use to put in my resin and a notepad I don't really you never know when you need a little piece of paper. This is the copper tape I have left. I'll probably take out, take it out of the big box and put it in there when I run out. This is my uh, like tool thing. I got my scissors. If you have not picked up a pair of these from the Dollar Tree, you got to because they have really sharp tips they're tiny they're great for cutting out paper patterns stickers um, anything that you need a lot of precision they do this job and then i got these two scissors here i think these are hair cutting scissors i've had them my whole life they stay sharp well, I haven't had them my whole life. I've had them my whole adult life. <laughs> uh, pliers, screwdriver. Um, then down here I got earrings, some little tags. I got these 90% off on Valentine's Day and they're so cute. So I just keep them in case I want to write a little love letter in my package or something nice. And then a couple more notes and then some tattoos with loving words and stuff on them. Because I can transfer the tattoos onto resin and use it in that sense. So right here I got these little pipettes from the um, Hobby Lobby. And they came, this whole pack was reasonably, reasonably priced. So I would definitely go get them if you need them for paint. When it comes to resin, I don't think that these work as well as I was hoping for, but paint, water, liquidy kind of stuff, maybe lips, gloss, they would work well. But with resin, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> with resin, they just do not work as well as I was hoping. And then these little, this other cup holds popsicle sticks. You can get popsicle sticks for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And these two little cups, they're in the office section. Um, I just poked a little hole with an awl. Or I guess it was with this thing. I poked a hole through and then I was able to get it on the hook. And they kind of move around, but it's okay. For me, that's okay. And last but not least, I got my ribbon here. Show you. So I got this gorgeous ribbon. See how it hits the light? Sparklies. This is in the floral section. Here's some Christmas ribbon. I'm gonna need that coming up. I got fishing line to hang my um, some of my stained glass pieces. If it's better that they're that you don't see where it's hanging in the window, use this. And then this is uh, this one is stretchy jewelry elastic string. And I just put that right there on top of those hooks and it rolls. And make sure that you open the, the ribbon before you put it on here. Um, you can always like kind of tape it on itself, if that makes sense, so that they don't come unraveled. Um, but before I did this, they were all in the packaging and I couldn't get the red one open and it was just so frustrating me. So my tip is just do it ahead of time. 
Um, and then I got this one as well at the Dollar Tree. Um, 80 feet of this, you never know, I can use silver and gold all year round, and maybe even red and green if I use it in the right sense. So I think I'm going to stick this way up here, I'll show you guys. Way up there, because right now I'm not using it, and when I do end up using it, then it's right there ready to be used. Alright, so thank you guys for watching my video today about organizing my pegboard. It was a lot of fun. It was something that I've been needing to do. And now I feel refreshed and ready to continue creating. Um, everything is in with our, within arm's reach. And even better, where because where I sit, I have a table that goes right here. You guys are sitting on one table. And then over here, so it kind of comes to a, a corner. And so I can sit right here and I can reach this way and I can reach over here. So it's really nice. I can reach my space. I can even reach back here where my molds are. So I'm a person of like loving to be able to just reach what I need when I need it. And so this pegboard made my life so much easier. Vertical space, I wish I had more vertical space, but vertical space is so important in an office because there's so much unused wall space and storage space if you don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the Dollar Tree finds that I had. Let me know if you have any Dollar Tree ideas or favorite organizational things for pegboard. Um, this is just what I have been experimenting and what works best for me. I enjoy using the wire racks because when you look at it, it kind of creates this uh, invisible illusion, like you're not staring at the box as much as you are what item you might need to be grabbing for. Please like and subscribe for more office tutorials, more um, crafting tutorials and ASMR type um, videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.